Okay, to calculate the semi minor axis, okay, so to calculate the semi minor axis, we, we just substitute to this equation, which is E is equal to 0 0.5, okay, and the value of A semi major is 4 AU, okay, 4 AU, okay, so what you have to do is just substitute to this equation. Okay, but how to remove the third? Okay, so it's easy. You just square root here. And you just square root here. Okay, so it will become E square. Equal to 1 minus B square. Divided by A square. Okay. So you rearrange this equation. Bring here. Bring this one to the left. And E to the right. Okay. So it's become B square over a a is 4 so we just substitute 4 square equals to 1 minus e square 0 0.5 square this is e this value of e 0 0.5 square so to obtain v so you solve this problem first equals 1 minus 0 0.5 square so it becomes 0 0.5 Okay, so B square equals to 4 square times 0 0.75. So you will obtain, so you obtain 12. Okay, so B equals to 12. So the answer is equal to 3.6. 3.46 A AU. So you get the semi major. So right now, how to obtain the orbital period? You just substitute to this equation. Okay. For the Kepler's law, which is A is in AU. So A is 4. 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is 8 years. So directly get the answer in years. But if you use a unit in uh, meter okay a in meter so you have to convert uh, from 4 au okay to meter so how to convert 4 au to meter so 4 times 1.5 times 10 to power 11 so we we convert to the meter so the, the unit so the cgm is 1.33 times 10 to power 20 so when you substitute to this equation you will obtain 253.21 times 10 to of it second which we need in second if you convert to the years you will obtain the same answer eight years f equals to 120 degree so where is the what is the distance of the body from the of the asteroid from the sun so the, we have the sun is this is the orbit so uh, this is the focus so right now 120 degree like this so right now we want to know what is the distance from the sun okay so you just do this equation to obtain the distance from the uh, center of mass of the sun okay so you just have to 120 degree to this equation okay so a we know for au and e we know 0 0.5 so you just substitute and you calculate using your calculator and we obtain R is actually 4 AU. Okay, so it's 4 AU. Okay. What is its velocity when it's located 120 degree? Okay, for two anomaly. Okay, so we use the V's V vibration. So this is the how we obtain the V. Okay, now we know GM value, which is referring the object center of the mass, the sun, 1.3 times 10 to of 20 okay gm and we know the arc here is for au and we know the semi major okay semi major is for au also okay you just substitute arc you obtain here for au and a you obtain from the calculation just now also for okay but you must remember to use this equation you need to convert to the si unit okay 
because the velocity is given in meter per second don't use for au okay so how to convert so you just times 1.5 so any value 1 au equal to 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 so anything you want to convert from au to the meter per second you just time to this value 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 so that's we did here okay r for au time to this value and a for au time to the value okay so this is the equation 2 and 1 okay so gm value is 1.3 times 10 to of 20 so you just substitute here and you will get the answer so don't forget the answer here you obtain you must do a set okay before you get the v ah okay so what you get here so what you get here is the answer in v square okay what you obtain here is v square so you want to get the v you have to do this operation okay okay that's all for uh, that's all that's all thank you